What's the stupidest way you got laid? NSFW. Just got a new kitten. Was outside a club on my phone and locked it. Girl next to me saw my home screen of me with said kitten on my head. Asked about him and got talking. The night was winding up so I said I was gonna head home she goes in to grab her jacket and comes running back out asking to come back to my place and see my kitten. Things went as expected. Felines ended up being a bit of a theme for the rest of the night actually. Had the little guy maybe 4 days at that point. What a bro. He got a new bed the next day and more treats that he knew what to do with. Was at a new year's party. At midnight. My best friend grabbed the back of my head. And the back of the head of the girl standing next to me. And shoved our faces together for the new year kiss. We ended up in an upstairs bedroom not long after. My neighbor once asked me to help her debone a whole chicken when I walked and there was no chicken. So I walked into her room to ask where it was and she was naked. Reverse naked man ed. Worked on me. Edit. Thinking I was gonna sneeze when not realizing I'm staring right at this girl for an extended period of time. I once got a blowjob because I gave a girl my last slice of pizza. I need to know what kind of pizza it was before I can say whether that was a good deal or not. I was leaving the bar one night. As I was about to walk out the door this girl who was about to come in stopped and looked me over. She asked me my name so I tell her. He says nice to meet you. Let's go and takes me by the hand. Drunk me gives an enthusiastic okay. And we walk hand in hand to her apartment. Step 1. Be attractive. Step 2. Don't be unattractive. Told a girl who liked pandas that I also liked pandas. During college. I was at a scientific conference with about 10 or so other students from my department. Due to an odd number of males and females. One girl was going to be lucky enough to get a room to herself. We got to the hotel the night before the conference. All the students gathered in two joining rooms to drink the night away. Naturally there was significant arguing over the single room. Eventually after several drinks. All the girls huddled together evidently to hash out who got the room. After finishing their huddle they rejoined the party. One girl who pretty much all I knew about her was her name and the fact she was recently single started chatting with me. I asked her who ended up getting the room. She leaned in and said the one of us who picks up one of the guys first I sat there stunned. She grabbed my hand. Led me out the door while winking at the other girls at the party. To this day I don't know why she choose me. TLDR. Got laid because a girl wanted a hotel room to herself during a conference. Working abroad in Spain for a few months as part of a college program. Got pretty close with a handful of guys and girls and we would all go out together. One night I'm dancing with one of them and I'm super drunk. So I'll lean in and say hey do you want to shock the world? Trying to hook up with her. That, clearly, did not work. But the next day I brushes it off and laughed about it with everyone. Week later we're all out again and a different girl in our friend group asks me if I want to shock the world. End up taking her home. Asked a girl to come over. She said yeah but I don't want to hook up. I said cool not really my thing either. It was 5am and she didn't want to leave so we hooked up and she left 4 hours later. Still don't really get it. We got into a spontaneous burp off at a party of mine and she ended up staying over. Happened with a friend of mine who I didn't know had a thing for me. Any. Hey did you see where went? Trying to get with her tonight. Huh? If you don't want to put in the work you can just take me home right now. I bet with a girl I just met on the outcome of our football game. Loser buys the winner a beer. She asked if there was a way to make the bet more interesting. I said yes. The loser give the winner oral sx. She agreed. She lost. She paid up in my car. Then we went to my house and continued. Continued? Fuzzball. Right? I was at a hotel in college with a bunch of other college kids. A bunch of us were in one room drinking and I had to go to the bathroom but someone was using the one in the room. I said I was going to my room to use that one and also get some more beer. 
A girl in the group asked if she could come with me. When I came out of the bathroom she had one of my t-shirts on. I didn't go back to the party room with more beer. Didn't bring back more beer. Some friend you are. In college. I would shave my head to the bone. I used an electric razor on my face because I can't grow a beard and I would use a blade on my scalp. I went to a friend in the dorm and asked her if I could borrow some of her women's shaving cream so I wouldn't get razor burn. She volunteered to shave my head for me. When she was done. I said thanks and went down the hall to get a shower. I came back to the room and she was still there waiting for me. She was extremely turned on by shaving my skull. She quite literally attacked me when I opened my door. We destroyed my room. Flipped furniture. Broke a desk. And knocked the doors off one of the closets. I almost felt victimized. Almost. She was my barber for the rest of the year. 10 stroke 10 best. Clear cut. Ever. I tried the. Nice shoes. Wanna bang? Line 6 times in one night. Worked the last time. I mean. I hope it worked the last time. It'd be weird if you asked a girl. Got a yes. And then proceeded to ask another girl. At a party. I drank a girl's liquor without asking permission. She came up to me as I was pouring myself some and said hey that's mine. I said. Well then let's drink it together. We ended up together in bed later that night. Swindled her out of liquor and a good time. Me. I need to get laid. Roommate. Wanna have a sex? Girl. I need to get laid. Me. Bought a girl a milkshake during college orientation. Five years later. We got married. And that's the story of how I got laid. The milkshake long game. Everyone said it couldn't be done. I quoted the sandlot. Then told her we could watch it in my dorm room on DVD. I didn't even have a TV but it didn't matter. At party in my house. Girl asks if I have an iPhone charger. I say yeah. In my room. She asks if I can take her to my room. We duck and charge her phone. TL. DR was in college. Got randomly paired with two girls in my class to work on a project. We met in one of the girls dorms. After we finished the project. She pulled out a pack of beers. And we just drank and talked. One of the girls was telling a story about how she saw someone at a bar kiss two people simultaneously. I was like what? That's not possible. And they were both like dude is totally possible and I was like how? I can't even picture that. So they showed me. We were drunk and things quickly escalated to us having a threesome. 10 stroke 10 would do another school project with them. TL. DR. Did a group project with two girls. As a group we got a B. But they both got a D that night. They planned it. Girl told me she didn't like her how her butt was round like a melon. Told her I wanted a bite of that melon. She gave me a bite of that melon. A friend invited me to a gay pride festival. I had never been so I thought. Why not? I remember a lot of dancing and drinking. But at some point this hot chick appeared and started hanging out with our group. We danced. We kissed. I ended up in her apartment. I still don't ever remember having a conversation with her. Went out for drinks with two girls. Girl 1 and I were supposed to be on a date. Girl 2 got stood up. Girl 1 was a horrible bee and I told her to go home. Girl 2 and I looked at each other. Said way not. And went back to her house and to do the deed. Turns out girl 1 and 2 were roommates. We banged while girl 1 slept on the couch. We were sitting on a car watching the Perseid meet it or shower. I went to grab a drink that was between us. She thought I was turning to kiss her. And two minutes later my pants were gone. It was our first date. I never found the pants. I was a sophomore at the time. Got to HS early for some reason. And it was a late start day as well so I sitting at my friend's hangout spot waiting for people to show up for a pre-class hangout. A senior girl I knew walked up and asked why I was at school early. 
I replied something about dad had to go into work early or something. She said she had a fun idea and to follow her. I follow her to the theater. She takes me to the back with the props and puts me down on the couch and the rest is history. TLDR. Got laid for going to school early. I once told a girl she had nice legs and asked her what time they open. Turns out the answer was around 2. 30 am. Hello. I'd like to inform you that we have slightly similar names. Congrats on the legs. Was drunk and jokingly started pinching a random girl's cuff to see how she'd react. Didn't expect to be balls deep in her that night. Got a cab home from the bar. Girl driving the cab and a girl in the passenger seat. Passenger was friend of driver and also somewhat intoxicated. She was talking to me on the ride and noticed she had her tongue pierced. I said hey. I have always wanted a blowjob by a girl with a tongue ring. When we got to my house she said okay. Let's go. She and the driver came in and the driver sat at my kitchen table and did paperwork while her friend came into my bedroom with me. Never saw either one again. And couldn't tell you a name. Long time friend that I kinda lost touch with one night asked me if I wanted to walk her dog with her. Oblivious me says yes. Goes to her place. She opens the door. I enter and she asks if I want a beer. Get the beer. We sit down on the couch. She starts rolling a joint. I noticed there was no dog. Watched a movie. 10 minutes and she says her back is sore. Oblivious me offers to give her a massage. I was completely unaware that this was a move on her part at the time. Give her a freaking 40 minute massage. Tell her I'm getting tired. Sit back down like a beater away from her. She snuggles up to me. Starts rubbing my crotch and proceeds to give me an awesome blow job. Stayed for the night and ducked through it. TL. Doctor girl asked me if I wanted to walk her dog. She didn't have a dog. But a very nice PSSY. Edit. Saw. I accidentally poked a girl with my finger on a dance floor at a club and somehow she thought I was trying to get her attention and went to. Hi. And into the taxi we jumped. Sophomore year at a smallish college and our house was the party house for all the non-Greek people. I hated it. About 100 people in our 4 bedroom house. I'm in my room. In my underwear. Playing RuneScape. Those rock crabs aren't going to kill themselves you know. Girl from one of my classes knows I live there and tries 4 times make me come out to the party. I refuse. Partying is an XP waste. Finally the party wins down. She asks to crash in my bed because she's too tired and drunk to walk home. Not actually that drunk. Sure. Whatever. Make yourself comfortable. Continue my conquest of earth clad crustaceans. She complains that the light from my monitor is keeping her awake. Sigh. I guess 3am is a reasonable time to stop for the night. I get in bed. Prepare to sleep. She ain't having that. Zero stroke 10. You put an absolutely zero effort. I was visiting Italy. Had gotten lost and was trying to find myself on a map. I sat down on steps near a statue and stuck my hand and dried. Sticky soda. Fortunately I had hand sanitizer. And washed up. A few minutes later. This truly hot Italian man walked up and also put his hand onto the sticky spot. I offered him hand sanitizer. Which led to drinks. Which led to SI times. I had some dice from a DND game and was rolling for probabilities on random things. Such as will I pass my test. Well this guy I had a crush on came along and started rolling too. I ended up rolling to see if I would end up having SX with him. Well I rolled 100% and told him it had to happen. That is the story of how dice got me laid and how I lost my virginity. I once gave a guy a blowjob so he'd stop talking about civil war economics at a lake party. Was at a house party back in high school. Super drunk girl asks me to help her find her boots. I'm drunk as t2. We search all around the place with no luck. And ended up upstairs in one of the bedrooms. We found them and my dumbass goes to actually try and help her put them on. 
she made the first move and we ended up in one of those beds. But I sometimes still wonder if it was the innocent way I remember. Or if she was trying to get me alone the whole time and I was just completely missing the signs like an idiot. Either way. Great night. A girl asked me if I wanted to talk outside. I said yay and said hold on I have to pee. I whipped out my DCK and started peeing on the lawn. Did you tell her that's not how peeing works? That sounds like a horrible idea and an easy way to get pee set on. I walked out to the middle of the bar and started spinning my sweatshirt around on the floor blowing around all the crap people dropped like a sweatshirt tornado. This girl came up to me and asked me what I was doing. I said trying to get a girl to ask me what I'm doing so I can start a conversation and hopefully go home with her. Ducked. Scrolling through this thread to see if I recognize any of my dumbass mistakes. Was in my sophomore year in college. I worked a lot and bounced at a bar. Was heading home from my one job of mopping floors at the commons and two girls I know were heading out for a Halloween party. They grabbed me and dragged me along with them. They were both a year older and really nice looking. I was in no way a player or very experienced. We're at the party and the next thing I know the one has her tongue deep in my ear. Things got better from there. Much better. A while back. I was at a house party and they had Guitar Hero going. PPL playing and whatnot. My turn came. Threw it on expert you teased one girl this guy must be good. Middle of the song my housemate comes by to ask me something. And I end up having a full on conversation with the guy while not looking at the TV and hitting every note, at the time I really liked GH. That girl was mine later on that evening. I was sitting next to a girl. And everyone around us was making out with one or the other. So I asked if she wanted to make out as to not be left out. It worked. Drunk at a friend's house after a drunken bicycle festival where you wear costumes. In the middle of our conversation I jokingly said. You look like you'd suck DCK for money. Not my best pickup line I'll admit. But it worked out later and for free. I was ripped stoned. Sitting on the wall at the beach. This girl walks up and somehow we start talking music. I tell her I'm a guitar player. She says I have my guitar in the car. Let me go get it. She hands it to me. I do the intro to Stairway to Heaven. She starts to sing with the voice of an angel. We were in bed that night. In fact we were together for four. One stroke two years and two different bands. My first two blow jobs in high school were a direct result of me refusing to have sx with a girl at a party so everyone could watch. Turned into some stupid game with a few of the girls at the party to see who could go the farthest with me. She was visiting, lived 2 plus hours away, and we were getting tired. Me. You can sleep in this bed here. I'm gonna take that one over there. You can join me if you want. Got laid. We're married now. I told him I could come from an L and he said prove it. So I did and I came all over his face. Female friend said she wanted to have sx. I wasn't really attracted to her like that but said yes anyway because. Lol. Male. Stopped halfway through because I wasn't into it. Stupid and awkward. Ouch. You got a power through that sh tea. You see. I was blessed with over 400 gallons of regular gasoline I was willing to trade. For a bong hit. When I was 18. I was dating a girl for a couple months and we hadn't had sx yet. We were at my house and she said she had to go to the bathroom. I told her I would be naked when she got back. She laughed it off. I got naked. She came back. We had sx. We've been married almost 9 years. Fixed another woman's air for her on the bus before a big interview. She fb messaged me a week later and that was that. Pretty sure no one here has had sx and all of these responses are made up. How do I know? It's reddit. Had a female roommate for a while. I came home from work one day. And she said she was cold. Asked if I'd come cuddle. No problem. Cheaper than turning up the heater. 
she didn't just want to cuddle. Went to a party hosted by sisters. Was upstairs with Becky starting to get busy. Realized that I left the condoms in the car. So I went to get them. On the way. The other sister. Dawn. Was coming out of the bathroom. She stopped me to talk for a minute. She asked if I'd duck her. Always a gentleman. I followed her to her room. She had a condom on her nightstand. After. I went to my car. Got a few condoms and returned to Becky's room. She asked what took so long. Told her that I thought I had some condoms in the car. But didn't. Had to go to the gas station. She bought it. Probably because she was shitty faced. They have been the best night of my life. S so early. Okay. Not stupid. Sorry. I lost my virginity to date Arpe. Funny thing is. I'm a man and she was a woman. I was 15. Drinking on New Year's Eve. For some reason she felt the need to feed me liquor for an hour. As if. I wouldn't have put my penis inside her sober. I don't know. Had garbage sx. Went limp. She drove me home while I puked up a rainbow out of a moving car. Passed out at 1030. Missed the new year. That's not a funny thing. That's legitimately a pay. I decided to fly out from America all the way to Japan to visit my girlfriend. She kidnapped and arped me daily for a month. But hey. If it's stupid. But it works. It's not stupid. I have an IQ of 67 and I have a job. Thanks for the ego boost. Riding my bike in a critical mass. A girl on a bike next to me let out a hearty lady warrior battle cry. I said. Whoa. Hey there Xena. Full stop. We rode the rest of that ride next to each other. Ride ended at a house party where we parted ways but kept bumping back into each other. Towards the end of the party. A band took the stage outside. And I noticed a hammock hanging rather high up in a tree and climbed on up there to have the best spot to watch the band play. Not 5 minutes later. Xena climbs up the tree and joins me. We snuggle for the duration of the show. After which she invites me back to her apartment. We banged. Then dated for 9 months. Swiped right on Tinder. Had broken up with a guy after a very brief relationship. He shows up at a mutual friend's house with two other guys. Pulls me aside to tell me one guy is a peace offering so him and I could stay friends. Took the offering. Ended up being with the second guy 4 years. We had not ended on bad terms at all. So I don't know what the peace offering part was all about but either way. Worked for me. Best wingman ever. Looks at friend. Friend looks at me. I raise eyebrow. She raises eyebrow. We silently go to my room.